Hey guys, I, I have a question for you all. This is a very, very serious question. How many of us here knows Pokemon? Pocket Monster. Oh, Pocket Monster. Pokemon. You don't know? Pika Pika? Yeah, yeah I, when I was younger, I played uh, Pokemon. I played Pokemon in a, a Game Boy. It was long ago. And when I was playing the game, I, when I got my first ever rod, a fishing rod, I caught my first ever fish. It, it looked like this, and I thought it was, it was my first ever Pokemon, so I could use it for battles. Any battles that I could fight with my opponents because it was my first ever water type Pokemon. So, but, however, that expectation didn't go as planned. When I used it for battle, it only knew one move, and it's called Splash. And whenever I use the move, it says, nothing happens. And then it gets killed by the opponent. So, however, I thought, this was my first ever Pokemon. I'm just gonna struggle with this guy. I'm just gonna keep him with me and give him more chances. So I kept using him for battle, even if he can't do anything. But however, when I use it, the level keeps, go keeps going up. And as his level keep kept going up, something surprising happened. But I'm not gonna tell you yet. So, in the human brain, according to a research in 1962, there are two, uh, two effects in the brain when we receive information. Firstly, it's the primacy effect. Primacy effect is the tendency to remember the first 30 to 40 words that we hear when we receive any information. And the other one is a recency effect, which is, means the, ten the tendency for us to remember the last 30 to 40 words that we hear. However, I'm coming up here today to show you why recency effect is much more effective than the primacy effect, and it works way better in life. Now firstly, I would like to start off by uh, talking about my experience in grade 9. You know this book? Yeah. In grade 9, I started off without knowing any math at all. Not, not at all, however, I was doing grade 8 not so good at all. I didn't even know how to compare two triangles together or uh, compare their angles if they were uh, equal or not. But I started off weak in grade 9, however, the year kept going, so I can't stop. It's not like I can just throw off and then stop grade 9. So I kept going in grade 9, starting off very badly without knowing math or anything. Until the last of that year, I kept going, I kept making process, I, uh, progress, I kept learning from that, kept going to the last until I knew that the national exam was in front of me. And it was just a few days ago. A few, few days ahead, sorry. A few days ahead. So when I knew that, I looked back when I started grade nine, and I found out that I have learned so much without even knowing myself. And the last thing is what that matters. I got, I did uh, the national exam and I got good grade. And I didn't even expect it because I started off so badly. So the thing is that the first thing that you do does not matter as much as the last thing that you do. Because the first thing that you do, whether it be hard, whether you are low in that, in that situation or in that time, as long as you look through to the reward that at the end of that moment, you gotta keep moving forward so that last result will go up to be what you expect or even what you don't expect at all. I myself is a pretty great a debater, I'd say. I have joined a lot of competitions. As you can see here, this is my uh, winning team of the ACE Grand Final Debate. I, I started off without even knowing if I was good at debating or not. I, was, I never got up on stage. I never uh, go up and tell stories. I was only doing it in class. I was only knowing English. I was only as good as knowing English, but not spreading it out. This is like a technique, but it's like a skills that you do in debate. And I don't think a lot of people know about this. Uh, I, used, I, I, I like to think that when we win last, it's better than when we win first. 
So every argument that we come up in the debate, I, al I always keep the strongest one, the strongest one that I've researched at the last. So when I, I debate with the team, when the first speakers go up, we might lose sometimes because we might lose to the rebuttals that they have because our arguments in the first uh, speakers are not that great. However, we keep that so that we can produce it all out at the end of the debate so that we can have that last effect, that last taste for the judge. So imagine this. Uh, when someone wins first, they win the, at that time. However, if someone wins last after that moment, who wins? Is it the first person that wins or is it the last person that wins? Yeah, the last person because the last thing that you do is what that really matters. Like, like a question that I have. If someone comes to you and then say they lost a phone, what's the questions that you're going to ask them? Where was the first place you, you use it? Or where was the last place you use it? Raise your hand up if you would ask first. And raise your hand up if you would ask where they put your phone last. Yeah, exactly. So you can see these effects. The recency effect is taking effect in how we uh, progress in our daily lives. And it's really important because we can stop if we feel bad about our beginning. A lot of us do. When we start something and we are bad at it, we feel like we haven't, we're not perfect yet, we're not good at it, and we're just making bad progress. Don't stop there. Continue because you have the last moment to look forward to. And uh, in the exam, it's the same. Like I said in my experience, I didn't start off grade nine really greatly because I didn't know, wasn't really great in grade eight to start off with. So in the upcoming exam for the grade 12 students, it, it doesn't matter if uh, you started off without knowing any lessons, without being any a great student in learning in that grade at all, but it's what you do in the last, but how you are at the last of the year that matters because you are going to take the exam at the end of the year, not the first of the year. Oh, and remember that fish I caught in Pokemon, this guy? I kept him for 13 levels and he grew up to be this guy. Yeah, thank you.